Hello there, and welcome to episode 3 of the Pokemon Sun Randomized Us Long. Today we are heading onwards to Professor Kukui and his magical laboratory. You can reach the Professor's lab by treading through the tall grass here. He says you can research moves better when he's surrounded by Pokemon. Oh, since I'm not a trainer though, I have to rely on using repels all the time. That's not how repels work. You do know that using repels keeps Pokemon from attacking, right? And about Nebby. Oh, I mean, uh, Cosmog. Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It came from far, far away. Pew. He seems to have a very strange power. It used that power to save me once when I was in danger, but some other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. That's why only the Professor and Kahuna Hala are the only people I can trust to know about it. Can you keep it a secret? Can you not tell anyone about Nebby or what happened on the bridge, please? Repels only work based if you have Pokemon. And they only repel Pokemon of a lower level than your highest level Pokemon. Oh no, your Pokemon at the front, technically. Um, technically, she got that Nebby in the bag. So that Nebby is sort of saving her ass. Anyway, as before I said, this is still tutorial land. So if we try to go... What? What's going on? I can't... Have... I'm pressing up and he's not going up. Um, I can only go down, left and right and down. Why can't I go up? <laughs> Alright, hold on a second, I want to figure out what the hell is going on. Okay, there we go, I just had to unplug the controller apparently. Now I can go up. Look, I can go up! One of the four cardinal directions. Anyway, um, this is the Howley outskirts. Technically this is still Route 1. Can I go back up here? I don't think we don't get an actual change, but this is class as Route 1 Howley Outskirts. Theoretically, I mean, you can jump down these ledges as well, but theoretically, I can get a new Pokemon here. Um, let's build the kid. Let's go, kneecaps. Focus. There we go. Cop Kevin. Is that why he's going to take our kneecaps out? Because he's a cop. Also, my camera's gone weird again. Come here. You bastard. There you go. Oh, they stunt. No. What does this thing called again? Souls Butt. There you go. It's a stantler. <laughs> anyway, as he's a grass up, I am getting out of here really quickly. I'm going to go into our ice type. Don't use Horn Beach. I swear to God. Oh, sun attack, even worse. Well, we have lowered accuracy. Eh, let's just go for an icy wind, see what happens. Camouflage. The grass type transforms into a grass type. Hole. We lowered his speed enough that we outsped him. That's nice. Sorry, bro. Damn. We need to get a new Pokemon. Oh, we've got XP share now as well. Oh, damn it. Electrode. I wonder who we're swapping to with this one. This is going to be a base Electrode because the other Electrode is from Legends Arceus, so... Hopefully he doesn't have Kukukaboom. The only reason I'm getting out, um, he usually doesn't have electric attacks, but... Ah, uh, he has te Tectonic Boom, that's a problem. That's a problem. Please miss. Uh, please kill. You see the problem with these moves that do guaranteed damage? Oh, they can smack you up sideways early game. Lombre. Well, we've got a swap because he's grass water. <laughs> Lots of swapping backwards and forwards on this one. Yeah, Dragon Rage right now would be absolutely terrifying. Um, I'm just going to bite him. I mean, we've got 44 HP. 
If he comes in with like a Haxorus at the all critical bit at the end, bro, if we don't one shot it, we're in trouble. Surskit. Thank you. Oh, well, Surskit. With his little nodule on his head. Oh come on! You have to get that. You have to get that guaranteed hit in at the end, because you know. Now I want to get that item, but I'm gonna get an encounter down here on the beach. There's another trainer there. Don't drag me into a cutscene. Thank you. And there's a hidden item there. Um, shed shell. It's normally a pearl. Um, I'm gonna get an encounter here, because I can. This is how the outskirts, do not worry. We went through that little door thing. This is technically how the outskirts, so I'm gonna get an encounter. Um, flabba bed. Oh, I forgot I'm on like three HP. Um, also, this thing can have grass attacks, so I'm gonna stop to Titanic. And I'm gonna try and just throw a ball at it. I'm gonna check what the PC says. If the PC just says root one, I'm gonna let it go. Alright, cool. Ow. Oh, it was Y to quickly use the purple wall. Okay. Okay. Vine whip. Miracle vine whip. Um. All right, we gotta hit you. Yeah, if you live, I'll catch you. If you don't live, it solves my problem as well. It resists spite. Very nice. Thank you, Fla baby. If I'm allowed to use this, if I'm allowed to use this, then uh, so it's also a Dragon Rage problem. Very tight. A Fla baby was bought. Um, yeah, so I'd like to give Fla baby a nickname. I'm gonna just call it Orchid. I don't know why. Yay. Also, I noticed in this, this one, I was like, I don't read out the Pokedex. It doesn't tell you the Pokedex entries in this game when you catch them. Anyway. Uh, it just says Route 1. Uh, we can't use him. Ah. Oh well. I mean, the guide says by Howley City, but. Hmm. Oh, Dodrio as well. Ah. Ah. This game is so hard off for encounters. I mean, I know we're going to get one in uh, Howley City. Oh. Really should have Titanic at the front, shouldn't I? He's getting so hot in there. I'm gonna open my windows in a minute. Ow. <laughs> That's just a nice few minutes. 95% accurate, right? Can't miss, right? 95% accuracy. It's when you eat too many uh, mints or chewing gums and you just breathe, breathe the mint breath. Like, yeah, it's so cold. Oh no, it's Rage's building. Whatever can I do? Rage is such a useless move though, because like in the in Gen 1, it was just like you were locked in. It would just keep doing Rage every turn. It was like, you use one PP, it didn't keep using BP every turn, but it would keep doing Rage, and every time you get hit by a physical move, it would up your Rage, and the move would deal more damage. But in these newer Gens, also, before I forget again, mm -mm. Swap you two over. 
And I'm going to try and beeline it. Don't go near her, because I don't want to initiate the scene of cuts. We're going to go up here. I guess the way you get slow poke in the original, they actually had... Like... Oh, grubbing as... Oh, no. Oh, grub, no. No. This Pokemon pissed me off. This Pokemon made me lose my mind up in here. Up in here. So you can get Grubbin, which is Bug. Decent little guy. Then it turns into um, Charger Bug, which is, it's not really a Metapod evolution. It's Electric Bug. And you're like, okay. I had the guy and I knew it turned into Vicavolt at the end. And I'm like, where do I get a Vicavolt? And because the game was new, because the game was new, it doesn't tell you nothing, right? It don't tell you shit. The wilds are level six here. It's mad. Um, the game will tell you nothing, right? A dubious disc. Right. I'm gonna go heal with mother. Mother, I need healing, mother. And then I found out you need to find the um, the magnetic stone, which is the, the thing that evolves um, like magneton into magnezone, so on and so forth. Um, but getting a suspected spam phone call. I love when they do that. Oh, hello, Latius. Oh, hello, Mega Latius. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Megas are in this game, by the way. They're post-game, but they are in this game, unfortunately, so this is another annoying thing we have to put with. Hmm. Bite's going to do more than, than our ice moves. Whoosh. Even though Ice, because it's a Dragon Psychic, does double damage and has Stab, this does double damage. I know it's a... Get got. Also, unfortunately, because we have Flo Baby on the team, or fortunately, depending on your point of view, Heracross. We don't really have anything to deal with a Heracross. I don't want to keep my Ice type out in front of a Fighting type, but at the same time, Jambu doesn't really have anything super effective. We can use a flying type or a fire type. Oh god, it's is she missed Mega or something. What the fuck is going on, bro? Chill out with your megas, bro. All right, Lear. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. It's not damage. Oh god, you got leftovers as well. Oh, that is his wish, you bastard. Oh good, she's stupid. It's like, haha, you did not you done like 30% damage to me last time. Let me endure in case you can one shot one hit care of me this time. Alright. Tackle how much? Six? Is that it? I thought this guy would be like the ultimate physical attacker. Honey stealing butthole. Hell yeah, we've got to level 12. Oh, look at that. I mean, our attack's higher. I shouldn't have to, but that's what. Just to be safe, Paris is a grass type. Old brother Cordyceps. Let's powder snow in, why not? Of course you lived. Of course you lived, bro. Of course you did. Of course you lived that whole thing. Like it wasn't anything. Ah, you're an asshole. Do more damage with poison than anything else. Hariyama. Okay. Mega Hariyama incoming. By the power of 
God knows how. <laughs> yeah, there is no such thing as a Mega Harry armor. There isn't a Gigantamax Harry armor, is there? I know there's in um, there's a Paradox Harry armor. Wasn't it? Wasn't it called like Iron Fist or something? And he's like really, really brokenly good in Violet. Like he's the ultimate thing to destroy Mega Raids or whatever they're called Raid bosses. Because he's like, you can max his attack really quickly, and then you 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 do some. I can't remember what the setup is, but you do you do something. You basically get it to plus six attack really. Yeah, you think you belly jump, isn't it? You belly jump. Oh yeah, belly jump and drain punch. You belly jump, drain punch. You just destroy everything in your path. Thank you. Um, let's go see what this guy has to say. Hello. Look, I've got me all grass types. If you're looking for some water type Pokemon, my team can also be fire types too. Well, okay. Anyway, hello, Lily. Oh, hey, Rob Gruff, let's go. Give it everything you've got. My body is ready. <laughs> This guy isn't banging his dog. Uh -huh, there they go again. The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually been uh, imposing on the professor here for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but the least I can do is pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more help if I was a real Pokemon trainer, too. Right. The, the professor, he never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. It looks like we have to patch the roof again. And I had just washed his lab coat and finally gotten it clean too. Now it's been shreds. And I'm not good at mending clothes, so I just have to buy another one. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. Dude, he's clapping his dog's cheeks, man. He ain't researching new moves. That's what he tells you because you're naive. Okay. Thanks for the pop up. Hey there, Leo. Thanks for getting it for me, Lily. I was just like, what is this? Crap and burn. Of course, however. Oh, wait, so. <laughs> of course, however, I can be a help. Uh, am I supposed to be. I'm supposed to be your assistant, alright? <laughs> Rockwell's moves were just so sterling, and I was making good progress with my research. So, here, Leo, let me see your Pokedex for a second, yeah? Also, like considering like the outside is all like boards and she's saying he's constantly breaking shit, he has perfectly um, fine flooring, furniture and windows, not to mention a gigantic flipping fish tank, which, you know, I'm pretty sure would smash if he was going that hardcore anyway. So, so what do you think of this place? Not bad, right? But that's not why I called you here, huh? <laughs> it's finally arrived. Hit. What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking. See, this is the Pokemon inside your Pokedex called Rotom. Really? Oh, I can tell you about Rotom. It's a peculiar Pokemon with a body made of something like electricity. It can take up residence in machines. Uh, that's totally not what I am right now. Who's speaking? Yeah, buddy, and to put that crazy skill of Rotoms to work. It's the next generation of Pokédexes, but it's only complete once Rotom has gone into its body, specially developed for it. A whole new way for people and Pokémon to communicate. Woo, oh, it's a professor. And there's only a few of these beauties in the world so far. And now if I power up your Pokédex with the parts I just got in? You mean Rotom? Zzzd. Hey now, sorry about that, Rotom. I guess I surprised you. Zzzd. Rotom? Here, boy, I piled up your favorite decks. Give you a helping hand here, yeah? Yes. She goes inside the UDO and he's like, uh. Thunk. Uh, nice to meet you, pal. I can't read that quick, I'm sorry, bro. See, Leo, now Rotom can talk right to you. Uh, from what I can tell, it looks like Rotom has taken a liking to you. And how will this help exactly? 
Uli hasn't been in your Lola too long yet, so I decided to give him the special Rotom decks to help him navigate around. Thank you very much. You can see where you're headed just by looking at Rotom, and if you give it a little tap, you can even check out the town map. No thanks, I'm good. Oh, is that why we're not getting the little drop downs? Hello, Lola! The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Whoa, ho uh -huh. ho! Oh, jeez, Scoob. That's it, he's got Shaggy's voice now, I don't care. Is that a laugh? That's awesome. No, it's private. The professor has been in line enough to me to let me use it. If you see a person or a Pokemon that needs help, just help them. <laughs> right, Ilya? And that's what I'm going to literally say up there in the loft. It's not really a loft, though, is it? So, Ilya, I'm leaving this Rome decks in your hands. Rotom, you look after Ilya, yeah? So, that's the Rotom decks, huh? It's kind of cute. Alright. There are some important things you need to know about the Island Challenge. The Island Challenge is your chance to become the strongest trainer around, the Island Champion. Whoa. It's a great adventure for you and your Pokemon to go together. There are four main islands that make up Alola, and the Kahuna has, and has a Kahuna for each of them. If you wish to be recognized by the Kahunas as worthy, you must clear the seven trials. Hello, I want you and Evelo to get out there and give it a shot. If you were ever able to use your Pokemon's moves, you have well, you were able to fully use your Pokemon moves in your very first battle. I think you must have talent for drawing up Pokemon strengths, yeah? Then yeah, I will do it. Microsoft Sam. Oh yeah, someone who dedicated my life to studying Pokemon moves. I really want to see your island challenge. Here, if I'm funny, the only island gets one of these for the island challenge I mean. Huh. <laughs> Wow, look at the pixelated thing on our pixelated bag. I got one for my gramps too. Alright, the you two, how oh, are yeah, move on? Okay. To the trainer school! You've got to learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer through Pokemon battling, even though I already know this. It's the long road to becoming the Island Chance champion. The trainer school is the first step. What about you, Hal? Oh, I'm good. I just want to play with my Pokemon. I mean, uh, I train with them, right? This island challenge is so it's the, how the people of Alola connect with the world around them. Alola, you take care of Alola, yeah? Until he gets used to Rotom, help him find his way around. That's the way of saying that's their excuse for why they freaking blockade everything off and make you go down a very specific route. So let's go to the training school. So you may notice on the bottom screen, which is above my head right now, that there is a marker on where we're supposed to go. Bump, ba 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 ba. Also, I like messing with the arrow. Don't mind me. It's pretty cool that you get a live map, though. It's a shame that obviously because we don't have dual screens anymore, because the Switch is a single screen. We can't do this no more. Hold on a moment. Let me show you the Pokemon Center first. Yay! We finally get to go to a Pokemon Center. And we can get a jerry beans. If you touch the woman with a counter, she can restore her Pokemon to puff. perfect health. It's amazing, isn't it? I can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. You must deposit Pokemon in the PC here and take them out. This is a shop, you can buy shit. This is a cafe, and for some reason they say jerry beans. Yeah. The drinks are useless. We should enter training school next, but if have your Pokemon taken care of first if you can go late. Yeah, okay, cool. Be gone! So we're gonna heal first of all. And unfortunately, we must say goodbye to Flabababababa because apparently it's not Beagle. Don't worry. That's annoying. Yeah, we're gonna release, which deletes the Pokemon permanently. Although it's released. It's, 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 it's totally in the world running around right now. You have six Pokemon on you, blah, blah, blah. Right, where you got to sell? Where you got from me, boy? Where you got, Braden? Pokeball potion, paralyzed hill, blah, blah, blah. Also, remember how mum gave us a little bit of spending money? She gave us 35 grand. Um, and five of those. I would like five of those. Give me five pools. 
I don't want to be status when I'm nowhere near a Pokemon Center, so that will do very nicely. Uh, how many potions do we have? Eight. Let's buy two more. Make up the ten. Why not? Let's buy a solid ten Pokeballs and give us a premium ball. Thank you very much. And if we go talk to this brother over here. Oh, wait. Okay. He doesn't give us the Jerry Beans yet. Yep, you can trade. We're not going to trade, though, because bum that. Boop. Bum bum. Boop. Bum. So here it is, the trainer school. Here we are, you see this, this trainer school is... is uh, uh, when the world? Here's our excuse for why we cannot progress any further. Well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to the Taurus there. But we're the only plan to go as far as the trainer school anyway. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Now come on, follow me. Yeah, I love being on rails. It feels good. Ugh. Hello, Leo. I must have parsed you two somehow, yeah? Good excuse, game. But welcome to the training school, a place to learn how to be a Pokemon trainer. Professor Yaku, is this child you told me about? Yeah, put him for the ringer, teach. Four trainers. You've got to be four Pokemon trainers here at the school, Leo. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon go stronger, yeah? Actually, uh, speaking of experience, why don't you take this? XP Char. If you keep the XP Char on you, yeah, all the Pokemon on your team can get experience points in battle. The trainers will be part of this test and maybe inside or outside of the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms and be sure to learn a lot. Alright, then let the lesson begin. Bop, 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 bop. She might look all that tough, but the teach trades her kids right. Well, this year's even is a captain. If you want to be a bit of advice for me, there's something that might help. While well, she follows a speech of Pokemon once, you can easily see what types of moves it will work best in the next battle. What about the talk around to be lots of Pokemon will help with that? Battle of all time, yeah? Yeah. No, 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 no. Um, so there's three hidden items here. Sorry. Two hidden items here and a TM. So there is a Pokeball north of the rail on the east side of the trainer school entrance. That here. Ovalstone. Right, so we want to go this way. There is a lady up there we have to face. There's an item here. You can see that her feet in the top uh, left corner. Sorry, top right corner. I'm terrible at remembering left and right, don't mind me. So we're gonna annoy this, ignore, ignore this brother up here because as you may see, whoop, there is grass in here. And this is the trainer school. So this is a real encounter. Come oh, on, sound good, sound good, sound good, sound good. That's not good. That's amazing. But at the same time, it's a carp carp, a magic carp. What am I doing this for? You can just press Y. There you go, use a Pokeball. Ha ha! I think I can really hit, I could probably ice move him because he's water, he resists ice, but we'll see. Ah, oh, you son of a horse. I know, he's splashing, guys. What level is he? Six. Ah. I'll try one more ball. I really do want to catch him because, you know, Gyarados is amazing. Even though we have Jumbo, I'm gonna Gyarados in the back will be sick. There we go. No, Gary the Gyarados. No, we have to call him by his official name. Gary's his legal name. Yay! Corp, 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 magic corp, 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 corp. I know it tells you because the Pokédex actually works now because before apparently we had a busted Pokédex. I mean, does that mean that because a Nuzlocke doesn't take effect until you have the Pokédex and Pokéballs, does that... Do you have... Does, could you, like, be an arsehole and argue that it doesn't kick in until now? Yay! Magikarp, the fish Pokémon. Although we can help us, this Pokémon is incredibly fertile. They exist in such multitudes that you'll soon grow tired of seeing them. It's a bit on the nose, isn't it? Anyway. Oops. Oops. 
Tsunami the Gyarados. Future Gyarados. Right, I think that's a good place to end the episode. Um, thank you for watching today's episode of the Pokemon Sun Randomizer Slug. Uh, in the next episode, we will obviously be taking on the trainer school. So join us for that before we head on to Howley City. Um, so yeah, thank you and goodbye.